Welcome back to Shushu Place with Mary Skelter, Nightmares, the door sealed shut. We continue from the last. Jump! Oh, jumped uh, from the last save point. Water supply pack. What is I this? Respiratory. Oh, jump again. Oi, oi, else. What was this now? So, did I get something I need now? Or? No. Door still sealed. I don't know what this You jump! Maybe if I sever it. But with what? Skills. Heal. Skills. Alice. Customize skills, I can't do this status area info. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh! Oh my god! This was fail. Get this going! Here I go! Leave it to me! Lick. Yikes. Oh! Alice licks Red Riding Hood. Check is looking. Okay. Yeah. Ah. I'll do this. Damn it. Here I go. Why you? Thank goodness. Okay, model drink. Miss stuff here. Oh. Don't have a key. Oh, I walked here already. Oh, I won't lose. Here I go. I won't lose either. Here I go. Bam. We won! I'm so confused! I don't even know which way to go! Well... I think... I just have to look sure? around. Ambush! No! Oh, oh. Ready. oh, oh god! Here I go! Why my turn! Check. Do it right right in front. Oh, almost level up. Maybe if I smash it. Yeah. Why you don't smash it then? Maybe if I severe it. Maybe if I do this. Maybe if I do that. Key, nothing. What is this? Blood splatter. Wrong way. Here it comes! Again. Here I go! It's my turn! Da -da. My turn! The music is uh, okay. We won! Wonderful. Oh yeah, level up. <laughs> level up! Yeah, level up. That's right. We did it. Here, but here is nothing. Here is nothing. I was there. We can go in here, but that's it. Maybe I have to go. We go first. Yeah, yeah. Stay focused. We go first. Wait, Jack. Jack. My turn. God, man. We won. This is. Uh, oh, we should not do this. I won't lose. Yeah. Stay focused. Leave Wait. it to me. 
We don't need to guard anyone Let's right now. Let's do this! Ugh, ugh. We won! Yeah, we won. But this is the area. The door is sealed. Hmm. Hmm. Change or confirm correct abilities. Equipment. Cannot be equipped with the current job. Prisoner mask. Edgy outfit. Okay. Innocent rotary. Skills. Select the skill to use. Slash water attack. There's not a smash attack or something. The door sealed skills. Maybe I have an item. Not crystals. What is this? Should I do with this blood crystals? Area 2. Ah. Okay, skills. Nah, this is not... Uh, doesn't work. These are the other cells. Mm -hmm. But now I was almost everywhere. Here it comes. Here I go. Here I go. We won. Level up. Just walking around. Filling this map. Did I get something now? Blood crystals. Others, oh, nothing. Okay. Oh, God, Jesus. Something here. Maybe on the way here. Here it comes. Stay focused. It's my turn. It's my turn. Is everyone alright? So much blood. I was there. There. But there's no other way.
Well, there was something. Wait a second. Oh, there's a level. Oh my god, I'm so blind. I'm sorry. Waste so much time. And now I see it. My god, man. The door opened. Oh. Massacre mode. When the okay. What is this? Be careful. My turn. It's Wait. my turn. Ah! Here I go. Splash. Is everyone all right? It seems as if it won't be as easy as expected to search the cells. You found an old memo. Hmm, a memo. What the? I better ask someone about it later. Man, yeah, better. Coming in contact with an icon shaped like a memo in the dungeon will initiate a battle. Win the battle to gain a memo with tips on clearing the dungeon. You can view memos you found through the other tab under items. What's this? A large piece of fabric? I've seen this before. It's not unusual, but I guess I can hold on to it. You got a tablecloth. I found something. A stone cannon? Oh look, this is a monster, man. Looks, uh... Oh, should we fight it? I, I have to fight it, or? Prepare for battle! Okay. My turn! Leave it to me! No, skill. What a tech. So... We won! Yeah, we won. Okay... Jack, something doesn't feel right. You're right, this place looks darker than usual. Wait, this isn't good. Everyone, the city's just up ahead. Run with all you've got now. Just run. Do you want to die? What's going on, Red Riding Hood? It's a nightmare. It's a monster that'll keep reviving, even if it's been knocked down. A nightmare? I've never heard of anything like that before. There is no way to defeat it. Just hurry up and run. It's too late. Our group's been hit. We need to save them. Leave them. We have to get out of here now. Okay, I want to fight this nightmare. There's a invincible cre there are invincible creatures called nightmares in each dungeon protecting the area. Nightmares bring darkness with them, so if the dungeon becomes dark, be careful. If you encounter a nightmare, chase will begin. Once chase begins, the nightmare will chase the party until everyone dies. If you can run far away from the nightmare, the chase will end and things will go back to normal. If you encounter marchants during a chase, a special battle will occur. The nightmare will attack while you're fighting the marchants, so defeat them as fast as you can. Note that the blood splatter that occurs in battle may splatter the blood onto the dungeon too. The blood splatter will light the area, so it helps to cause blood splatters whenever possible. <coughs> if the nightmare catches up to you during a chase, you may need to face it in battle. Press the A button while standing next to the nightmare to enter battle. You can knock down a nightmare by destroying its parts. While the nightmare is knocked down, you can select move to enter battle and escape from it. Oh my god! Crazy shit! That should do it! Oh, this this is it? Looks like we got away. The exit is right ahead. Who, <laughs> who? That thing. What was that? A nightmares? Any? Di are nightmares any different from Martians? 
A nightmare is like a boss class, Marchin. The only thing you can do is run from it. <laughs> we lost some of the prisoners who were with us. Cannot even a blood maiden beat it? It's impossible. Like I said before, you can't beat it. It'll just keep reviving itself. So you freed the prisoners knowing there was a monster like that lurking around? What? Did you want to die instead? Or was it better being locked up in a prison cell? I didn't expect it to appear. I've never seen one that close before. But, but... How were you planning on escaping with that kind of monster around? Alice. No one's been able to beat one. We got lucky this time. It was all we could do to escape. I don't like it. I don't want to just run away like this either. Red Riding Hood. Alice? Ah! Alice! Ah! Oh my. Shoot, she ended Blood Skelter. Let's get out of here, Jack. But Alice, she looks like she's in pain. I need to help her. Not now. Alice isn't her usual self anymore. Stay here any longer and it'll be good night to you. What's happening to her, Alice? Hee <laughs> hee ha ha ha. She's going crazy. She's not going to snap out of it. She'll attack everything until she dies, even you. It can't be Alice. I was hoping she wouldn't end up like this so soon. Okay, she's, she's crazy. There's nothing we can do for her. This isn't the Alice you knew before. The only thing we can do is end her right here and now. I won't let you, Alice. Why that idiot? Alice, it's me, Jack. Uh, crazy left. <laughs> <coughs> Alice, get a hold of yourself. Alice! J Jack? Jack? I don't believe it. She's back. Thank goodness, you're back. Are you okay? I, what happened to me? Jack, you hurt. I did this to you. I, what, why? This is nothing. She actually came out of a blood skelter state. I need to report this to dad. Red Riding Hood. Alice is back to normal, right? Is she going to be okay? Ye yes. Can you get up, Jack? Grab a hold of me. Th thanks. Come on, follow me, Alice. The exit's not too far from here. Mm. Here it comes. Stay focused. Leave it to me. Ah! Ah! I can feel it. She's in massacre mode. Go! Ah! Oh. Ready. Do this. Oh no. Bubble attack. It's coming. She's entering massacre mode. Woo. We won. Yeah, you did. You actually did one. Wow. But there are items. Giving card. There are items. Prisoner cuffs. I don't know which way. No, I don't want to go down there. Mm, okay, I didn't skip the lever this time. I'll do this. Wait, Jack. Skill water attack. Go. Is everyone all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. Did I miss something again? No, not really. Oh, look at all this. All of this blood. Shoot! 
Ambush, no! Stay focused! Here Wait. I go! 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 Here I go! Take this! Yeah, I'm all right. Item. Treasure chest. 300 G G gold acquired. Maybe if I smash it. Oh no, can I? Oh god, no. Fail again. There's the exit. But I'm not Watch done out. here. My turn! Here I go! 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 Oh my god. No oh, SP. I can feel it! Yeah! Yeah, massacre mode. Thank Look at what I found! Rusted claymore. Should we just go to the exit now? And leave the rest like it is? I don't know. Maybe there are items. Look at what I found! Rusted claymore. Just a monster. And a fresh chest. Here I go! Here I Wait. go! Check. Come on, down. Is everyone alright? I found some salmon. Compact A E D. Just the exit. Well, we did it. We did it. All right. Awesome. That should do the trick. Thank you very much. Is Jack going to be okay? Yes. He was bleeding, but it wasn't as bad as expected. He does have mild anemia, though. I see. He's all patched up, so the bleeding should subside shortly. I'll be back to check on him. Um... Thank you very much. Uh... And about Alice? She's doing fine. Not bad for her first fight. I mean, she did fight them right. She sure did! Alice was a lot stronger than I thought. I think we hit the jackpot with her! I know she rescued us from prison, but the way she said that just now felt kind of rude. In any case, let me introduce them. This girl here is Alice. She's an actual blood maiden. Um, nice to meet you. The guy here is Jack. He's, um... Why didn't you leave him here with the others who escaped? Why did you bring him here? Wow, rude. That's right, it's not like she came looking for me or anything. Oh, well, about that. Dad, I have something to report to you. Um... So you're telling me she ended her blood skelter state by attacking that boy there? It can't be. I ain't buying that. It's... It's true. Alice won't be like that anymore. She's not gonna harm anyone. Jack. Jack, was it? Oh, don't worry. I can tell she's back to normal. Thank you. It's no surprise everyone's doubtful, and I do have more questions to ask. In any case, Jack and Alice, welcome to the dawn. Welcome to the dawn, wow. The dawn? Dawn is short for the Dawn Liberation Force. Um, and this Dawn is... Think of it as an autonomous organization formed to oppose the Marchands in the jail. All the basic functions of a city can be found here. It's also where those who escape can survive. The functions of a city? Wow. And this place is the Dawn's headquarters. It's the last fortress around for us humans. The last... fortress. Last isn't quite accurate. The Dawn exists to find a way of escaping from jail. Escaping from jail? 
You do know the basics of what the jail is, right? Not in detail, but I heard it consumed a city that used to be above ground. That it's alive. And also, that the Marchands were originally humans and animals. Hmm. One minor correction. The jail's consumption of the organic and inorganic is called mimicry. Mimicry? To be exact, the jail is able to absorb information from a subject to alter its own form. Most prominently affected are the Marchands. Like Alice said, their forms were altered by the jail. Leading them are the nightmares, who never die. They're the major obstacle in our plan to escape. Nightmares. We were attacked by, by one. The dawn is, so to speak, a crystal of knowledge for us humans shut in this dark world. Our mission is to use our research to escape. Through that research, we discovered the Blood Maidens. The Blood Maidens are humans who possess supernatural powers, which allow them to face the Marchands. You already know this after fighting them, right, Alice? Yes, but... Do you know about the tower in the middle of the jail? Yes. We found out that this tower grows upward through some special means. If we can grow it high enough, we can escape to the surface. That's where the Blood Maidens come in. Can't believe what I'm hearing. Are they serious? Is that even possible? Alice? Yes. You are, without a doubt, a Blood Maiden. We want you to help us, and that's why we sent her in. <laughs> but I... Mind me, I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't even made introductions yet. Um, I... I'm the leader of the research team and the oldest one here. Everyone calls me Professor. The fine lady there is the leader of the rescue unit, Miko. Miko Ueshima. I'm also in charge of keeping you in good shape. Let me know if you don't feel well. I'm the craftsman here. Come and see me for weapons and things. Wow, unfriendly as usual, aren't you, Haru? Oh, his name's Haru, by the way. Hey, don't go talking for me, you hooded idiot. Hooded idiot? You don't have to be shy just because your name sounds cute, Haru. Wait, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Great to see you finally smile, Jack. Now then, you already know me, but I'm Red Riding Hood. I'm the very first Blood Maiden, so I'm like your older sister. I hope we can get along. Um, you mentioned you're the very first, so does that mean there are others? What is a Blood Maiden? What am I? Let's just say it's something we'll never really know. Maybe it's the will of the gods, or... Well, that could be a possibility if there were such thing as a god. <sighs> if there were such a thing as a god... Professor, I think you've taken enough of their time. I'm sure they're quite tired. Ah, you're right. I got a bit carried away. Well then, Miko, could you take it from here? My pleasure. Jack, Alice, please follow me. Uh, sure. But I... <sighs> Alice, your questions can be answered in time. Why don't you rest first? Red Riding Hood, can I borrow you for a moment? What is it, Dad? Jack? Let's get our questions answered later. You're back to normal, and they all seem like nice people. Okay, Jack. If you say so. And they're right. You must be so tired. I'm okay, Alice. Thanks. Now I can save the game, right? <clears throat> well, you know, it strains my voice if I keep up this. Yeah, Alice, I'll ask you what. Well, I just read it normally, okay? Alice, I'll ask you one more time. Did you really end the blood skelter? It seems as if that's the case. She doesn't need to be so blunt. Alice has suffered enough already. Um, is there something you need from Alice? Jack, I'm 
diagnosing Alice now. I would appreciate it if you would stay calm and wait your turn. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jack. I'm okay. I was in pain when it happened and I couldn't control myself when I came to. I saw Jack. He was bleeding so much from wounds. I'm sure I caused. His blood was on me too. And? Jack, what did I do to you? Calm down, what you experience is what happens when someone enters Blood Skelter. It imparts unimaginable power to Blood Maidens, in other words. It's a Blood Maiden's weakness. Blood Maiden's weakness. And a Blood Maiden needs a large amount of marching blood on her to end her massacre state. When the marching blood got on you, did you feel any different? Come to think of it, I started to lose my mind and the violence was growing inside of me. I felt hatred, I wanted to destroy, I wanted everything to end. Alice was keeping all those feelings inside of her this whole time. That's a sign of entering massacre. You can see the proof in the blood maiden's eyes. Her eyes, I thought she was just going into a fit. Entering the massacre state draws out the latent power from within a blood maiden. But continuously being exposed to marching blood isn't all good. It leads to accumulation of corruption which triggers the blood skelter state. Corruption. It gorges the instability of a blood maiden's mental state. A shock can also rise corruption. Once corruption reaches a, reaches a certain limit, she loses her mind and go on a rampage. So this blood skelter state is when a blood maiden loses her sanity? Alice, what surprised us is that you came out of blood skelter. No one's been able to do that, to do that before. I see, so that's why Red Riding Hood was so surprised. But what happens when they don't recover? I want to ask, but I'm scared to know the answer. Is it safe to assume that I'm back to normal and I won't harm anyone else anymore? I can confirm that you are back to normal. When corruption accumulates, the irises show distinct symptoms. I don't see that now. That said, I still can't believe it. We've developed various medicines to control corruption, but none have ever cured it completely. Alice, do you know anything that may have brought you back? I remember feeling like I wanted to destroy everything after licking the walls in the prison. I suppose I was close to entering this blood scatter state you're talking about. It's possible that the walls had march blood on them. And the shocking torture you experienced raised your level of corruption. I always assumed it was some sort of fit whenever it happened. Jack would give me a bit of his blood. Jack's blood? For some reason I'm able to calm down after licking his blood. That was how we survived in the prison. Hey Miko, pretty interesting, huh? Yes, I've never heard of removing corruption by licking blood. But assuming it is fact, there is still no explanation as to why it's effective. Uh, may I? Huh? Or why? Yes, I'm done with Alice's diagnosis. It's just a hunch, but maybe Alice came to her senses because my blood splattered on her. Is that a possibility? Interesting. If your blood could somehow affect corruption through a form of contact aside from ingestion... Jack, would you mind I took some blood samples from you? Oh, go ahead. I think it worked because we've known each other for a long time. But if my blood can assist your cause, I'd be happy to help. Though I doubt my blood is anything special, it's not like I can fight like Alice can. Jack! That's why we're gonna take some samples, kiddo. Oh, that's right. Your blood may lead to an amazing discovery. After all, corruption is an issue we need, we need resolve. The professor was part of an early search unit back in the day, but there's a lot still unknown. I see. If that's the case, is it even really possible to escape from the jail? Hey kiddo, is there anything that's bothering you? Uh, me? Well, nothing in particular. How about the wailing sounds coming from the jail? Wailing sounds from the jail? 
That's right, for some reason, I think I can hear and understand the sounds coming from the jail. I'm not sure how the word it, it's us, if I know how it feels, sort of. Hmm. Whether you think you can hear it or not isn't important now. Huh? Don't think too hard on it. Just relax, alright? Anything else? Oh uh, well, the wailing from the jail is really annoying. It's like someone's whispering next to me. I see, well then, put these on. They should help muffle whatever it is you're hearing. Headphones, thank you very much. Hmm. What a day. Until yesterday, I wouldn't have been able to imagine what's happening now. Come to think of it, I've never slept in such a comfortable bed before either. <clears throat> Sorry. Back in the village where Alice and I were raised, all we had were a bunch of leftovers. But after being taken captive by the Martins, even those leftovers felt like a luxury. Alice, run! I hold them off! <sighs> Jack, Jack, wake up! I wasn't able to protect Alice. I was powerless against the Martians and we were captured. Alice, I hope you can at least have a good night's rest. I need to go to sleep. Being like this reminds me of when I was all alone. I was all alone then too. When I opened my eyes, there was a dead march in front of me. I think it had killed my parents. With all that's happened, I've already forgotten what my parents' face looked like. I couldn't protect anyone. Uh, yes? Jack! Alice, what's the matter? Um, do your wounds still hurt? You were worried about it? I'm fine, see? They patched me up and... That's not it, I just wanted to apologize to you. If I'd just been able to hold myself back, this wouldn't have happened to you. Alice! But you didn't kill me or anything, right? So let's say it just happened and move on, okay? Okay. Oh, and Alice, if you weren't with me, I don't think I would be alive right now. You've always supported me. If anything, I'm the reason we were captured. Stop, Jack. You protected me back then. You protected me when I was all alone. That's why I can trust you. And that's why I believe in you. That's why I was able to survive. Alice. I've decided to fight with the Red Riding Hood and everyone to escape from the jail with you. Alice, that means you might have to go through even more suffering. You could die out there. Why don't we just live here together like before? I'll be fine, I'm ready for this. I was scared at first, but I'm not scared anymore. So please, will you support me? I can't protect anyone. I can't help Alice either. Don't overdo it. Can you promise Can you promise me that you'll stay alive? That's a promise, Jack. That said, you're worrying too much. I was pretty strong back there, wasn't I? Yeah, you're right. You are and always were strong, I can confirm that. I'm weak, I don't have any powers and I can't do anything but... I support you, so please do your best, Alice. Thank you! Chapter 1 Hey, it looks like everyone's gathered. Everyone together. Everyone's hungry. I see. They're hungry. Poor things. That's right. Guess we've got to feed them. Yes. We need to feed them. This is... That's right. I was given my room here at the dawn. I'm not in a cell anymore. But... Unlike Alice, I can't be of any use to them here. Now that I'm fully rested, they may come and ask me to leave. Come to think of it, I'm still in these rags. I hoped it was okay. The blanket, is it dirty? I hope they're okay with it. Morning, Jack! 
Uh, good morning, Red Riding Hood. Oh, so what's up with your flapping? The blanket all over the place. Did you wet the bed? Um, well, whatever. Now then, here your clothes. Clothes for me? Ah, you wanna stay in those racks? Uh, well, why me though? It's not like I can be of use here. You know, I have no clue what's going on in that little mind of yours, but... I gave you your clothes, so hurry up and put them on. Once you're ready, come down and see my dad. Normal clean clothes. Jack, did Red Riding Hood... Oh, I'm sorry, were you about to change? Good morning, Alice. I'm fine. I'm done changing. Wow, you've got new clothes too. You look great in them. You think so? You're looking good too, Jack. Really? What's the matter? I can't understand them treating you well, Alice, but why me? Why'd I have to say that? I'll only upset her. About that, I was wondering how they had our clothes and rooms ready so quickly. It's as if they knew we were going to come. They knew ahead of time then. I think I mean they knew my name prior, I wonder. One other thing, just remember that you're not useless or anything, Jack. I need you, just like everyone here needs you. Alice. I'll always be there to protect you. Saying this might worry you, but I feel like they're hiding something. Something that we shouldn't just believe in blindly. Thank you, Alice. I'm sorry for bothering you like this. I'll be careful next time. Jack! I think we're in the same boat as they are, trying to escape. Let's just go along with them for now. Yes, well, it looks like they want us that the professor's laboratory. Let's go. Wow. And then I... Um, thank you for yesterday. Ah, oh, it's you. Hey, you're both late. I'm sorry. No apology necessary, now then. Yes. Do you mind if we take some blood samples from you, Jack? We want to see how it affects blood skeleton. Uh, what's the matter? Um, well, they took my blood samples yesterday at the rescue center to experiment with. Oh, is that so? Huh? Ah, you're right. With all that's happened, I completely forgot about it. Dad, you forgot things too easily. Forget, sorry. Come now, that's not true. I suppose I'll speak with Miko of her results later then. Yes, please do. Like Alice said, something's wrong here. How can something like that not get relayed? Probably. Um, is there anything you expect from analyzing Jack's blood? I believe Miko explained it already, but the blood maidens accrue, accrue corruption, which triggers the blood skelter state, and we've had no real means to counteract it. We lost someone from it too. Lost? Maybe another time, sorry. That's right, Red Riding Hood was trying to avoid the specifics of Bloodskelter before. Now it's best we talk about it now. We lost a Blood Maiden to Bloodskelter a while ago. We weren't able to save her, to be exact. We had no means of saving her. She, rem she remained in that state until the end of her life. All that we gained from it was the discovery of Bloodskelter and the risk involved. So, then the same thing could happen to Alice too. Because of what happened, we haven't obtained much in the way of results from our investigation. After all, there's no way I could risk our beloved children's lives like that. Dad, that's why we need you, Jack. Your blood could potentially push the dawn to a new level. Is that true? Why, yes, we would like to ask for your cooperation with our research. That wouldn't put Jack's life in danger, right? Of course it wouldn't. He's our lifeline. We will treat him with great care. Come on, it'll be okay, Alice. Dad and Miku are both skilled at what they do. 
She's right, Alice. I'm happy to know that I can actually help you and everyone here in some way. That aside, do you know where you got your name, Jack? Where I got it? Yes, did your parents give you that name? I don't know, I lost my parents when I was young and I don't really remember much from then. I see, interesting. Well, thank you for coming today, Red Riding Hood. Show them around the liberated district, will you? Sure thing, Dad. Oh, and before you leave, this place is my laboratory. I'll be here if you need to ask more about the Blood Maidens or if you have any concerns. Your dad knows and cares about us more than anybody else here. If something's bothering you, come down anytime, I'm rarely anywhere else. Thank you. Now then, no need for me to keep you folks any longer. I see you. I see. I'll see you again. All right, follow me. I guess now's about a good time to ask. I'm Red Riding Hood about the room and these clothes. Hmm, what about them? Well, I'm not a blood maiden, so I feel bad that I'm being treated the same way. Ah uh, is that what's bothering you? Didn't you hear what Dad said? Huh? You're one of us now, you and Alice, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. It's just that I was surprised that everything was already as if you all knew we were coming. The team probably got everything ready when they heard I brought you two, don't you worry one bit. Oh well, thank you. Thank you. It doesn't look like Red Riding Hood is hiding anything. That's a research nut, so he rarely steps out of the laboratory. He's a lot more straight-laced now, but he was supposedly quite the character back in the day. That sounds interesting. If that's the case, we shouldn't bother him much. Hmm. I think he's back to doing work or something by now. I see. Well, we did just speak with him, so it's probably best to leave him alone for now. I'd be happy if you did that, at least for now. Now then, there are a lot of facilities in the Liberated District. You saw Mikos, but there are still more. Now then, let me show you the way. Okay. So I think I end this part now and save and yeah, we continue this game in the next part and you know what you have to do, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you like. So 